Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Paul. I am the professor of film and I love everything to do with analogue photography. I like to talk about cameras, I like to talk about film. If you have a look at my channel, you'll see all the wonderful things that I've uh, talked about in the past. And here into 2023, my plan is to talk through individual cameras and what you can do and what you can't do and can we repair them. Photography seems to be getting very expensive now. Um, so it's nice if you can find a bargain in a thrift shop or a charity shop and, uh, and see what we can see. So let's talk about this camera today and we're going to talk about the Practica B100 Electronic. This is a lovely camera, beautifully made and not expensive. This particular one seems to be in very, very good condition. It was given to me by a friend. I like to make sure that cameras who've led a life and who've enjoyed life and taken great pictures in the past aren't sitting on a dusty shelf somewhere. We like to bring them back to life if we can. So that's my plan. And if you like my subjects and what I talk about, analogue photography, in all its forms, then please do subscribe. There's lots of videos for you to see. And uh, not only subscribe, but hit the like button. It helps. And I would love to hear your comments. If you've got something to say, I'd love you to hear about it. So let's talk about this beautiful camera. So this is a Practica B100. It's a film 35mm SLR camera. It has a 1.8 beautiful for bokeh, 50 millimeter lens. It has f1.8 through to f16. What it doesn't have, this particular camera, is you're unable to set the shutter speed. You set the uh, ASA by turning this dial on the knob here. You lift it and turn it to set. So for arguments that we're going to set it to 200 ASA, which is DIN 24. And here you can do in plus or minus the exposure. So we'll leave that as a standard. And we have it set on automatic. You have a battery test and automatic. The battery test works by looking through the viewfinder. So let's, let's have a look and see what we've got. So on the front here, we have a Hoya 49 millimeter skylight filter. That's there to protect the front of the lens. And here's the lens. Let's take the lens off and see what we got. It's a clean as a whistle. Very nice lens. Very nice. So 1.8 to 16 is very reasonable. Let's have a look at the camera through the viewfinder. Oh, it's beautifully clear through the viewfinder. If you have a look there, you'll see it looks very clean. Let's take a picture. Now the mirror's staying up because there's no uh, f-stop to tell it what its f-stop is. And uh, so the camera gets confused. But we can see there's the film plane behind. There it goes. So, because there was no uh, f-stop on there, let's pop this back on now. Now let's try that again. It worked perfectly that time. So let's have a look. Inside, really clean, very nice. So let's cock it. The shutter works beautifully. Excellent. So let's cover the lens so that yeah, it's much slower. So what you have is you have a, a camera with a light meter built in. And depending on where you set the aperture, so it's aperture priority, depending on where you set the aperture, it selects the shutter speed. So if I set F8, and then it's telling me when I half push the shutter, that with this dark, miserable day outside, you can probably hear the rain. At f8, it's telling me that it's going to take an eighth of a second. So let's have a listen. That was definitely an eighth of a second. But if I point at my light and go to 
F2, 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 F2
it helps me get more people uh, viewing the videos. And like I say, if you've got anything to add or comment, please do. I'd love to hear what your comments are. If you've got any questions about analog photography, please ask me. I'll be more than happy to answer them. I might actually make a video if it's enough people want to know. Many thanks indeed. I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.